everybody, Lanny here, and this is going to be a new series that I'm going to start here on my channel. Over time, I've had a lot of you suggest to me that I should do toy hauls, toy unboxing, and toy reviews. So, this is going to be the first of many toy reviews, hauls, slash demonstrations, unboxings that I'm going to do. Now, I've done videos in the past with toys, but this is a new series that I'm going to be doing on a regular basis, so that's why this one is listed as number one, unboxing number one. So, that is that, and so many of you have made so many suggestions on what you'd like to see. Um, I will try to get to all of them, but up first, I am going to be opening a Play-Doh product. So yeah, let's just get started. All right, guys, so as you can see here, we are going to be doing this one first. It is Play-Doh's Disguise Lab for the Despicable Me Minions. Ha ha ha. So yeah, let's get started. Hey, Mom, show them what's in the box. All right, let's get started. All right, everyone, so as Lammy mentioned, we have Play-Doh's Disguise Lab from the Despicable Me movies, and this is the minions trying to disguise themselves. It says it's for ages three and up, and let's just see what's in the box. Oh look, we get a sneak preview of what's in here. And there's the back of the box, so let's see what's in here, shall we? All right, so first things first, we have our different Play-Doh colors. It looks like there's like a pink, a blue, a yellow, and an orange, so you get four Play-Doh colors. This is the chair that they sit on. A comb. Not sure yet, we'll figure it out. Uh-oh, the minions. Ha <laughs> ha purple and yellow one. All right, and this is the whole thing here, the whole setup. Okay. And it looks like we have some scissors to cut their hair. All right, guys, box is empty, so let's get started. Let's put this thing together. So here is everything out of the packages and out of the box. Um, first, you have your base. So the base has different molds on it. So you have a headpiece, a feather duster, this looks like a top, and this looks like a skirt. And then we have this little banana here in the front. Um, then you have the chair, and on the back of the chair are more molds. There looks like a hat and a dress. So that's pretty funny. And that goes there like that. And to put it together, you just take this blue part that we weren't sure about before, and that just sticks down in there like that. Then the chair, We'll go over it like this, and what this part does is it pushes the Play-Doh up inside of the Minion. And the Minions have these holes in the top, and that is where the Play-Doh comes through. So let's take a look. See, you can see through there? That's where the Play-Doh comes out. So let's see how this thing works. All right, so we're going to start, and we're gonna do this on the yellow guy. So you take it and you slide it inside the chair like that, and it kind of locks into place, so he stays. Then what you do is you put some Play-Doh inside of here, and then you push it, and it makes the Play-Doh come out of these holes, so it looks like he has hair. So, Lammy. Yeah? Which color do you wanna start with? I wanna start with the teal one. The teal one, like this teal color, like this bluish color? Yeah, that one. Okay, so she wants to start with this one. So we're gonna open up the Play-Doh. All right, so that is what that color looks like there. So we're just going to pour this out of the container here like that. And we're going to take a nice sized chunk of it. Okay, then what you do is you shape it a little with your hands, so that way it'll fit inside of here. And then you just push it in there. Then what you do is you flip it. Oh, oh, oh! Let me check it out. That is amazing, Mom, I love it. And then you just use your hands on the side here and you just push it down like that. And it creates hair. Mom, zoom in on that. All right, guys, so there's an up-close shot of the minion hair. So what it does is it just takes the Play-Doh and it pushes it through here and it creates hair. So that's what the hair looks like up close. Then it comes with this comb so you can brush the hair down if you want to, like that. Haha. 
and it comes with little scissors. So if you wanted to, you could cut the hair. And then the extra Play-Doh you take off of the scissors and you put it back inside the container to use for later. So aside from the hair, you can also make molds out of these different things to disguise him and you can stick it onto this thing. So what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to turn him around because I'm going to use this dress mold right here. That's the one that Lammy wants. And you can just leave him sitting on the chair if you want. He's not gonna go anywhere. So we take this. We push it onto there. I think I have too much Play-Doh here, Lammy. Push, 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 push. That's cool. Lammy, do you want to touch this? I like Play-Doh, Mom, but I'm afraid it'll get stuck in my fur. You know I don't like bats. Yeah, that's true, you don't like bats. So we just push it in like that. Pull the mold out, and you can see we've made a little dress. And then very carefully peel off the edges. put your extra Play-Doh back into the container. So now we have a cute little purple dress that we are going to put on our minion. Now he has a dress on. That is hilarious, that is fantastic. Yep, so that's what this basically is, guys, is you can do things with their hair, then you can disguise them by creating different pieces for their outfit. I think what I might do here is create a hair piece, which is this mold right here, and put on top. So I'm gonna do that really quick. So I'm gonna go ahead here, and I'm going to use this pur the purple color. Just push it down in there, and then carefully peel it back up, and then pull off the excess on the edges like that and there is your headpiece mold and you can just sit that right on top so how does he look lammy fabulous it's hilarious yes it is i love it this is fun so now i'm taking a bit of the orange and i'm putting it here so i can make a mold of the feather duster i can get it out of here here we go so i'm just going to pull off the excess play-doh on the edges and now our minion has a feather duster. Alrighty guys, so there is our first toy unboxing video. I'm gonna go play with this a little bit more. Do you guys have this particular set? Or do you want this particular set? I love Play-Doh, guys. I love the way it smells. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little afraid to touch it sometimes, though, because I don't want it getting stuck on my fur. So be careful, guys. You don't get it in your hair or in the carpet or on fabrics or anything. But yeah, I love Play-Doh, guys. It's so much fun. What you can also do is take the extra Play-Doh that you're not using for the Minion's disguise, and you can create other things with the Play-Doh. I love to get creative with this stuff. The, the, the possibilities are endless, and I just love it. Look at my little minion guy. Haha, <laughs> he's so funny. Haha, <laughs> he's a maid. He looks like a maid. My favorite part's the hair. I like the hair coming through the holes. Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna go do the purple one next. All right, Lammy. Okay, guys, so thank you for watching my first official unboxing toy video. If you'd like to see more of these, please give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comments section below and let me know what other toys you would like to see me unbox and play with. All right, guys, so be sure to subscribe for more videos here on my channel. Also, follow me on all of my social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Those links are in the description box below. And I will see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.